today uh, we are going to uh, take care of assignment one uh, first I downloaded the data uh, to my PPS 531 folder located on C drive uh, and created a folder called assignment one and then you can see the neighborhoods and the schools uh, shape files you know you can see more than one file uh, as we discussed in the class uh, into the folder and now I'm gonna open a new arc map or shape files to my arc map I'm gonna click on new empty map and then click on add data and then go to my C drive in which I have PPS 531 I'm gonna find the assignment 1 folder select all shape files and click on add as you can see I added the neighborhoods and the uh, point files which, is, which are the schools you can right click and open attribute table and you can actually observe the status which is open or closed of the school the name of the school and the neighborhood and the address and if you scroll to the scroll to your right you can see the district which is city of Pittsburgh or uh, Pittsburgh uh, diocese private school uh, which uh, these two actually represent uh, the private school under Pittsburgh not uh, diocese uh, as you know uh, those are the two uh, two categories which identify private schools and you can see the number of employees also I'm gonna close this and uh, you can see in the neighborhoods uh, we have the neighborhood uh, name of the neighborhood unique IDs and square miles and uh, acres and stuff so in this uh, assignment is to uh, create a map which shows the en enrollment of public and private schools in Pittsburgh so what I'm gonna do is make my neighborhoods you know less visible or you know make it gray or something like that so that it's not too profound and I'm gonna make a copy of my schools what I'm gonna do in the schools is right click go to the properties and the definition query I'm gonna set my status because we are only dealing with open schools I run a query to only show the open schools click on click that so I'm gonna show only the schools which has a status of open okay and I'm gonna right click and open and see that there are 153 uh, schools right now uh, other than, whereas the original file which has 159 which means six schools doesn't have you know uh, a status of open or they are closed uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here to this query builder scroll down status is equal to get unique values I'm gonna click on close oh actually it should be open okay now both these have 153 schools each but what we are trying to show here is actually uh, uh, public schools in one and private schools in the other I'm gonna go to the symbology the categories uh, actually you know what uh, since we are required to do this uh, in a different way uh, now I'm gonna add, make this uh, query into an extended query and identify schools that are actually public okay uh, and I'm gonna click and and go to uh, district and say get unique values is equal to city of Pittsburgh okay now you can go to open attribute table and if you scroll down to your right and see that only city of Pittsburgh is right now actually activated or the only you are viewing only that data you can see how many less schools we have now these schools are actually public schools and similarly uh, I'm gonna switch that off turn the, this on go to properties query builder gonna run a different query and say and uh, I'm gonna start parenthesis here and district 
is not equal to sec of Pittsburgh. Now, just to uh, get the rest of the schools. Now we got the rest of the schools here. Open. Got 59 here. If you can turn the rest on, you have 94, which will make the total, you know, 153. So that's the total schools. Now I'm going to rename this as private schools. <coughs> I'm gonna go to the properties and go to the symbology now and go to quantities or graduated symbols and say uh, I'm gonna say this will be maybe the red schools will be public schools okay and the value based on enrollment okay I'm gonna use natural breaks no. As my classification as you can see there are, and then click on okay now you can see I have my public schools categorized by the size of the enrollment and the same thing I'm gonna do that for private schools enrollment but I'm gonna go with maybe a blue color you know just to differentiate between those two and click OK and click OK. Now you can see my private and my public schools are actually classified based on uh, their enrollment and they are actually shown in different colors. Now half of my work is done but the only thing is I don't think we label the neighborhoods. Go to properties, go to labels, click on label features and then go to the hood and make it very small. Make it um, maybe a color less uh, and make it italic and placement properties and little buffer just type in one so that they don't you know overlap or anything now you can see <coughs> the map we wanted okay and I'm gonna save this file as my in the, in the C drive actually in the C drive and in the G PPS 531 assignment 1 I'm gonna save it as assignment 1 but I'm gonna name it just okay now it is saved okay actually just one more thing uh, you may want to add map tips to this uh, for the schools especially what you do is go to the properties of the schools and go to general maybe or display go to show map tips use this primary f display field and go to labels and say yeah the label is primary display field that's fine click on ok and now when you actually move your mouse uh, pointer onto one of the you can see the name of the school right uh, and similarly do that to private schools um, go to display show map tips in the labels just make sure you have the name which is the primary field uh, which is actually shown as a map tip okay just click on okay and now you can see it for all schools and uh, the last thing uh, what you want to do is uh, add a hyperlink how to do that I'll show you how to do it what you're asked to do is identify a school name by um, Al Alder Dice uh, which happens to uh, be in the Squirrel Hill South neighborhood so uh, okay I'm gonna find the Squirrel Hill South neighborhood first or maybe I'll just go to open attribute sort by ascending and actually that's that's where it is it's a public school in the Squirrel Hill South neighborhood called Aldatas okay I'm gonna oh there it is actually the highlighted one so I'm gonna click identify click that now I can see that and right click in the you know table of contents of the identify window and say add hyperlink 